That's my guy. That's my guy. That's my guy. That's my guy. Bruno or Odegaard? No, no. I actually have no idea who he rates more. There's, there's one right answer. In terms of footballing ability, it's Odegaard. But who I would want in the in the United team, uh, in the current United team, I would take Bruno. You're wrong in terms of football ability. Well, like, Bruno, yeah, well, like, it's Bruno both. Bruno. It's both of them, Bruno. No, no, no. no, five, Bruno. no bro. five aside, touches. Well, you, know, you know you walked into two Bruno guys right now. Two. Come on. Wait. Come AMG, on. Nah, you're you're, on you're Bruno on over Odegaard? Yes. I've been saying this. You'd rather have that. Bruno yeah. at Arsenal over Odegaard. I just think he's technically better. I don't know if I'd say he's... I'd want him right now, but I just think he no, is no, no. better. Listen, I feel like listen. Bruno is just playing with crap. Imagine him at Man City playing no, Gundogan's bro, position. No, this guy bro, could be listen. one of the best midfielders of all time. Flip. No, no. I think I think he has more ability than Odegaard for sure. Bro, his ball I mean. striking is unbelievable. Bro, he doesn't even need to run into anything. He <laughs> yeah. no back lift. Boom, hit a ball. Perfect spin. Put it right where you need it. Hmm. Problem is decision making. It's, it's terrible. Bro, it has nothing to do with yeah. with I United hear that. Sure. So easy. It's bad it's decision so making. You can't teach that. Yeah, but it's so easy for you guys to say Bruno because you don't have to watch him play for your team every week. <laughs> Trust me. Trust no me. No bullshit. No bullshit. That's true.